Hey mamas, welcome to my channel. My name is Naisha and today I'm going to show you how I achieve this everyday glam look with basically no eyeshadow in about 30 minutes and you're out the door. You're also going to see a couple different lip options. So we have this beautiful bold red, a nudie pink, and some simple gloss. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look, please keep on watching and of course, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. So with our brows already done, we're going to start cleaning it up with a flat brush and some concealer that's close to our skin tone. And then we're going to blend that out all over the lid with a concealer brush. Then we're going to blend that out with our beauty sponge. Next, we're going to start with a powder that's closest to our skin tone. And we're going to blend that all over the lid to set the concealer. Next, we're going to go into that bronzer color on a fluffy brush and blend that all into our crease and outer V area. Next, with a black liner pen, we're going to add a couple wings. And of course eyelashes because wings and eyelashes make any look extra glam. Next we're going to move on to the face starting with primer. I tend to use a pore filling primer focused on the center of the face. Next we add our foundation. Then we're going to blend that foundation out with a dampened beauty sponge. Um, I like this one has a flat side that I use to quickly blend out all of the foundation. So blend, blend, blend until you get it all in. Of course, remember to go down on your neck to prevent that line of demarcation. Moving on to contour, we're going to contour the hollows of our cheek, our forehead, and our nose using a contour stick. We're also going to highlight and conceal with a concealer that's a little bit lighter than our skin tone under the eyes, the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, and across the top of the lip. While the concealer is drying down, because this one in particular is a little bit liquidy, uh, we're going to blend out that contour using a flat top brush uh, across the forehead and of course the cheeks. And then we're going to use a smaller brush to uh, blend out the contour on our nose. While I wait for the concealer to dry down a bit more, I like to secure my lashes by going in and pinching them to my natural lashes and pushing them up a little bit to make sure that they're standing up. Next, we're going to start blending out that concealer with the more pointed side of the sponge. And you know, really want to blend this out all the way down to where it meets the contour. What I also like to do is go back in with the flat side that I use for the foundation and kind of go over the edges of the concealer to help blend it into the contour and the foundation so there are no harsh lines. Once that's all blended out, we're also going to use the sponge again to set the areas that you just concealed with a loose setting powder. I also like to bring that powder all the way around my mouth. Next, I like to use my pressed powder to help dust away that bake and then also set the other parts of my face that I did not set with the loose powder. And then go in with a clean brush to really dust everything off. Now we're going to go back in with that bronzer and start bronzing up the face, the cheek, the forehead, and then on the jawline to help hide that double chin. You can see it's in a bit of a three formation. I also like to dust a little bit of that bronzer on the sides of my nose. I mix both the light and the dark bronzer colors and start contouring my nose. If you have a smaller nose, you may not need all of this contouring. 
Next, we're going to dip into the pinky highlight and we're going to highlight the tops of our cheekbones as well as our forehead area. And we're going to highlight down the bridge of the nose and the tip of our nose as well as the cupid's bow. Take a pencil brush in that highlight as well and highlight the inner corners of the eye as well as the brow bone. Next, we're going to dip into some blush and then we're going to sweep that onto the apples of our cheeks. I like to go in with a clean brush and really buff over everything to help prevent any harsh lines. Then we're going to set all of these powders with some setting spray. And of course, use our hand fans to get that to dry down. Next, we're going to go in with a black pencil liner and put that in our waterline as well as tight line. And we're going to use some of that bronzer on a flat brush to buff out that liner. Next, we're going to add mascara to our lashes, and this is going to help blend them in with the false lashes. Then we're going to brush through some brow gel in our eyebrows, and I like to do the upward motion at the front of the brow to help with those hair-like strokes. And then last but not least, we're going to finish with the lips. For the first look, we're going to do just a simple gloss. So go in with a pencil that's close to your lip color. And then, of course, uh, some Fenty Gloss Balm over top. And that's the first look with just gloss. Very easy, very simple for the person who does not like a whole lot of color. For the next look, you can also go nude for a little bit of color. Here I decided on a pinky nude lip. And then of course for some more color, you can do a bold red lip. And that's it for today's video, our easy everyday glam look with different lip options. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and share, comment, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.